Hey, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Mac 11 pistol. This is a very high quality, highly customizable, standalone little pistol weapon for you to use in Fallout 4. Now, I've got some War Daddy animations attached onto this, so it's going to be a nice package all round. So, getting into the attachments here, first of all, we've got the standard receivers here, and of course, they generally follow what you'd get out of the uh, assault rifle, except on a little um, Mac 11. So, powerful auto receiver there, doing 150 damage a shot shot there with 454 fire rate which is absolutely insane this thing will just spit out lead like you wouldn't believe so we'll do that now for the stock you can have no stock a standard stock which is it folded in that position there but if you want to extend that out that'll give you better hip fire and uh, recoil and all that so you know what we'll go ahead and chuck that one on this will be our fully doped and tricked out one next up we've got the magazines large quick eject mag is obviously the best one for that since we'll be running through our ammo very quickly this will be highly beneficial for our use now for the sights we've got standard or glowies and it really doesn't matter which one we're going to attach here but we'll attach the glowies because that'll actually give us a little bit more accuracy we'll get the sights again later now for the muzzle, you can have a muzzle break there, which looks kind of cool. A suppressor, which is longer than the gun in itself, so, you know, that's kind of weird. You can actually have a scope on that suppressor too, which is kind of bizarre. I'm not sure how that would work, but um, we'll just go for the standard suppressor there. That's massive burrito on the end of your barrel. Beautiful. Okay, so right now we're firing the 10 mils out of this. If you want to do the best damage, 45 caliber, 226, very, very good. But if you want to do a little bit less and have a more common ammo type firing out of this thing, you can make it uh, fire the 38 super, no, 38 special, that's the one. And yes, of course, back to the size, we'll pop a reflex sight onto that. Better bats, better target acquisition, all of that stuff. And if you want, you can change the zoom on this. Uh, we'll go no zoom because obviously it's a tiny little SMG type thing. PDW, we probably won't need all that zooming. Now, you can actually change the textures on this. There's a couple I like. Tiger looks very cool. We'll chuck that on. Why not? And for the attachment under the little barrel here, you can have a flashlight, a laser, or both. And we'll definitely do that. And you can actually um, craft the flashlight toggle item in the camp station to switch between light sources. So that's actually a toggleable thing, which is great. We'll probably just have it on the laser sight for the most part, though, and grab a flashlight one later and of course a legendary effect is there if we need it but at 226 damage at 454 fire rate i think we're just gonna be just fine with this thing so we'll grab a couple more different customizations of this thing and we'll go into not gunners plaza okay here we are in gunners plaza and this is our mac 11 up close and in first person there so it looks pretty good that target camera looks very nice indeed we'll go into the light for a second and here we are in third person there, it looks pretty good there too. The suppressor looks friggin' massive. You could probably... Oh, hang on, I'm going invisible again. It's a Stealth Boy mod that I created. No, never mind that. Okay, so the... Yeah, the suppressor looks big, but whatever. That's fine. All right, we'll get stuck into some of these gunners now. Oh. Okay. Oh, there. Those, those are the animations, by the way. They're pretty good, aren't they? What Daddy is... He does a good job with his animations. So, um... Yeah, with the 45s and being able to shoot this fast and constantly stacking sneak attack criticals, yeah, it's a little bit easy. Hang on, what is my difficulty here? Huh. I haven't even stitched myself up by playing on very easy. This is just how it is. Also, there's a running animation there. And this thing uses basic 10mm pistol animations. If I could just... Nah, never mind. Yes, um, in third person, I've got the 10mm animation replacer, and that works with them too, so it's like two animation replacers in one. It's kind of great. Okay, we'll go ahead and shoot up this guy, and we'll bring out the one with a scope on it, because you can do that. What you can also do is um, put a reflex light on there. Um, doesn't do anything, but I thought I'd do it for the shits and gigs anyway, and it kind of works. You get a little bit of accuracy stat out of it, so we'll go ahead and start um, sniping at people with a Mac 11, and um, I don't see anything wrong with that if you don't. And we'll see if we can't get any sniper bonuses happening. Okay, obviously it won't work because this is a pistol weapon, and um, not. And while it is semi-auto, it is not a rifle, so oh, wait a second. No, wait, you're just dead. That was a dead ragdoll. Never mind that, I'm just being an idiot. So, as you can tell here, even without the sneak attack criticals, this thing is going to be killing people very, very fast. 
any weapon that kills this easily in uh, very hard mode is probably be a little bit overpowered, but sure, that's fine. Um, we'll switch over to a non-suppressed one now. This one has a different animation set on it because I don't have anything on the uh, front of the barrel or the flashlight on the uh, the bottom of the barrel, I guess. So, yeah, you actually hold that at the front, which would be kind of hazardous. You'd want to get your hands away from the barrel, especially when it's constantly spitting out muzzle flashes. But now it's less powerful without the Ace Operator perk also. Have you got one too? Yes, you do. Well, my one's better. It's got the Furious effect on it. I was going to save this one for later, but no. I want to kind of use this thing as it's, I guess, an intended... Oh, you've got one too. Yes, I wanted to use this thing kind of as a uh, thing without a suppressor. They're just a very compact little pistol for you to whip out when things are at close range. So maybe if you're a sniper character, you've got a big um, badass long gun that fires very slowly. Some people sneak up on you. It can happen. You whip out your little Mac 11 and then go to town. Bridget's got a sniper on her back. So yeah, that totally works for her. So alright, we'll move on to something else. Probably those super mutants. Although we're not going to be pulling any punches with those bastards. Okay, what a perfect weapon to run the gauntlet with. Here's the one with a scope once again. That's Gerald over there. That's his name. You're just going to have to deal with it. So we'll leave him alone for a time. And first of all, we'll kill some of these raiders. We get to sneak up nice and close on these guys. They're all in a... Oh, frame rate's going bad there. I think um, the game's trying to process all of the AI that are going to attack Gerald over there. So... I don't get to kill those gunners there, but you know what? I've killed my fair share of gunners already, so we'll take our scoped one over here. I think one of them picked up a fat man. That was interesting. And we'll go ahead and take out this lot over at this uh, scrapyard. I think it's called Big John Salvage. And where... Oh, hang on. There's a bear over there. Yeah, let's get stuck in him first. Why the hell not? Let's just aggro him for a second. See if we can't get sneak attack criticals. Yes, we can. He gets killed in like three shots. Definitely possible for a 45 ACP to do that. And wow, you must have booked it up there because they weren't that close, were they? We'll hold our breath and shoot that doggo in his bum. And shoot that super mutant there. One, two, three, four, five shots to kill a super mutant warlord. Although this thing's range is probably faltering at that stage. So this one, we should kill him just a little bit faster. If I could actually aim, we could have, but yeah. So, um, this thing is actually a really great sniper weapon. I didn't expect to pick up the Mac 11 and be able to snipe at, at this sort of effectiveness. This is more effective than the hunting rifle with a scope, but um, that's not saying anything you know, special because the hunting rifle is a piece of shit anyways. We'll teleport switch over to our automatic one, and we'll mow down that super mutant in mere seconds. And... Um, I want you to watch the ammo cannon next time we're firing. I'm just going to dump the mag and look how fast that goes down. It went down so fast that my frame rate decided to go and die again. So, uh, you know why? It's because my fans aren't on. Everybody get ready for the super fans. There they go. All right. So now we should be getting a little bit better with frame rates there. And we come out of um, uh, Crouchy for a second for a bit of sprinting. And we'll just hip fire that dude up there. I'm sure our laser sight helped out a lot with that. I think um, having a laser sight on your weapon should increase your, um, well, should increase enemies' perception onto you because I mean that's pretty easy to see, isn't it? It's just a giant green laser. Okay, now we are in open combat there because I decided to be impatient, and we can just mag dump these super mutants here. We'll go in a third person because I believe the fire rate is even higher in third person. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. But if we continue to mag dump these guys, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure I killed all the ones there. So what's left is whatever is in here. Oh yeah, it's the guy that sits in the boss all day. Um, you want to get out of there, mate? Oh, I'm stuck. I'd like to point out that I'm trying not to... I mean, I'm trying to jump, not fight. But now I'm fighting you and now you died. Okay, we'll go through the door this time. Because that's a whole lot easier to get to this giant ass doggo here okay so now we can move on to the main event of gerald let's not cheese this with suppressors and i need to stop saying cheese because it's i don't know it's just a crutch of mine now thank you for somebody yeah thank you for making me say that all the time and we're probably close enough to lay into Gerald. And that's his name. You deal with it again. And we get a fair lot of hit. Uh, yeah, a fair lot of hits. We get a fair amount of hits on this guy in um, 
that's there and of course this thing's going to be firing very short bursts because it fires that fast as you can tell there this thing has quite a lot of damage he does a lot of damage to you he's he's actually heap stronger than swan interestingly enough okay this time we'll take him on before he kills these gunners actually no i want them to die so we can actually get um, him not aggroed and not distracted and not shot so my furious stacks aren't interrupted but ooh, don't, don't, don't come over here ooh, that was close okay so he's running over there for some reason oh his path thing is failing so he's gone to retreat that's fine okay so is that a stagger on him no he's going for a hit there isn't he yes he is that's fine just got to make sure we get all of these hits that we can i've never seen a behemoth do that i usually think they go for their little um thing first okay Ooh. all right the furious damage saves us again as well as um some little bit of that exploitation also that is an idiot savant drop on a super mutant behemoth on gerald so yeah <laughs> A, almost 9,000 XP for that nonsense. So we'll kill these stupid raiders again. You're getting wasted, all right. You got so wasted that you jumped up into that railing then died. Okay, you've already seen this thing tear through the rest of them. I think you get the idea. We'll move on to someone else. Okay, so there's Sir Boris over there. Let's get stuck into him. Also, that's his canon name too. So if anyone says different, I'm going to ban them from my comment section. So he's going to go ahead and dodge around like he usually does with his standard Deathclaw behavior. He's going to get nice and close. We're going to shit our pants a little bit and then backpedal whilst firing at him there. So uh, yeah, he's a little bit hard to hit than old Gerald there because he likes to dart around a little bit. But since he's on a kill path just for me we get a nice easy chance here to um do a little bit of furious damage to him we're stacking it very quickly there and we even get to uh oh no kill like overkill bonus on that rad scorpion there which i accident which i yeah accidentally targeted there but as you can tell the furious stack sort of last beyond your next target at least for the first shot there which is kind of interesting i've commented on the past how it's like a no kill like overkill perk from a uh, salvador back in borderlands 2 but yeah that's a totally a thing you can do doesn't really act the same but it's kind of like that man i'm i live a sad life where i really want fallout 4 to be borderlands 2 you know what i should probably play borderlands 2 some of these days right that's like a game where you're actually meant to run around shooting things rather than a rpg where you're supposed to make conscious choices and oh man uh okay We'll just move on from this. We'll forget this ever happened. Okay, moving on from that terrible moment of introspection, let's go ahead and finish off these bears. And this time we're only going to do it with the suppressed one. So this time we're not going to be easily able to defeat these guys with a furious weapon because, yeah, that's a little bit of a crutch. And we'll see if we can get ourselves in a nice position of sneak attack crit spammer instead. So we're doing pretty well so far, even without the sneak attack criticals as we take a giant bear claw to the face and run off like nothing happened. As you can tell, we're doing pretty well with the damage on there. If we stack these constant headshots, which is, isn't is terribly hard to do since the um, bears have quite the massive head and giant hitboxes in general, makes them kind of easy to fight most of the time. I'd rather see these guys than bloat flies on my one hit one to play through. Yeah, we can get a lot of damage on these guys, which is great. So we just zero into his head. Go on a third person because that seems to up the fire rate somehow. Um, I think he's getting... He's, ooh, he got out. I thought he got himself stuck, but he got out. And he's running away in shame. Yeah, you better run, Mr. Bear. Uh, dodge. We dodged him. Hell yeah. Okay. Almost dead. Almost dead, Mr. Bear. That's probably not his canon name either, but um, I'll take suggestions for that name. It better be funny, guys, otherwise you're banned too. Anyways, that was it for the Mac 11. This is certainly a very powerful weapon, very versatile despite being a tiny little pistol. You can actually take it and snipe people with it, which is kind of interesting, if not nonsensical. So... Okay, that guy just didn't give a fuck, but yeah. So if you'd like to see this thing in your game, be sure to check out the description. And if you're on PC, I believe this one is on Xbox. 
one too. But if you're on PC and you'd like to see these animations in your game, I'll put a link to both the first person and third person animations there. So you can go ahead and grab those because without them, the weapon feels more or less not sort of, um, yeah, I like weapons with their own animation, makes them feel like their own complete package there. Very high quality stuff here from Doom. And, uh, yep, that's about all my mod plugging. Also, companion mod, you can have bridged your game. That one's also for PS4 too. Thanks for watching, guys.